Good morning, it is Fajr time. We have many things to pray about. We will thank Allah for the beautiful sunshine and little bunnies and things like that. And also, thank you for his deliverance of Robert Spencer's head into a platter. Fajr. I've read all of Bakari, I've read all of Muslim, I've read major portions of Jamia Termidi and Sunan Abu Dawood, and I know there's all sorts of stuff that if you just wanted to be really king of mockery, um, there's, you know, I've commented to people, I, I learned more about Muhammad's wives' menstrual cycles reading the Hadith than I ever wanted to know, I can assure you of that. And so if you want to go there, there's plenty of material to go around. Plenty of material. Wonderful. Rasulullah is amazing, brother. He truly is a mercy unto mankind. And let me show you one of the great mercies that he bestowed on his followers, brother. Did you know that Allah and his messenger allows the violation or the breaking or the annulling of your oaths? I can't even focus on Halal Hogan, my favorite show in all history, because Robert Spencer robbed our caravan. Jacked our caravan. What sort of man robs another man's caravan? <sighs> Sucks, man. You know, you know, we need to get our, our minds right. We need to be walking on the right path. We, we need, need to, to be focused. Clear. The only way clear. that can happen is we go to the masjid, we do salat. All of those things bring clarity of vision every single time. And then we'll know what to do. Let's, let's uh, go get our bikes. Hey, little buddy. Hey, are you a Muslim? Give me your bike, fool! Thanks, Wimp. Get yourself one. This is the beauty of Islam, ya brothers. This shows the mercy of the Prophet of Islam, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That he was even concerned with your nostrils and the cleanliness of your noses. Did you know that the Prophet said that every morning you need to snort water in and outside your nose three times, not twice? Is that a sign of the Trinity? Hmm. But anyway, the reason why you snort water inside and out your nose is because Shaitan, Shaitan, Audhu Billah, he stays in the upper part of your nose every night. And because of the love of the Prophet of Islam Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He wanted to make sure you get shaitan out of your nose every morning Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Now with that said, ya brothers, anyone with a question? Uh, yeah, I have a question about robbing caravans Stuck for Allah, stuck for Allah, stuck for Allah how many times must you bring up this question about robbing the caravans? If you understand what the Prophet did in the historical context, you will see that the Kufar were begging to be robbed. No, no, no. Robert Spencer robbed our caravan while we were terrorizing it. You did not hear what my response was when I said the context of this. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. You said Robert Spencer, that dirty kafir, huh? Well, now that makes things different. That wicked kafir should be shish kebab, and we must make sure that his books do not be sold in the market where there are Muslims. Takbir! Takbir! Yes! Furthermore, additionally, also, too, someone should make a cartoon drawing of Robert Spencer. Cartoon drawing? Why? Because obviously, obviously the worst thing you can do to someone is make a cartoon drawing of that person. Alhamdulillah that even the mercy of Allah extends to the Kafirs. Because this man, Robert Spencer, 
I must admit before Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He has great, vast knowledge of Islam and Jihad. But unfortunately, unfortunately, He does not use it to bring praise and glory to Allah and His Messenger. Therefore, I challenge this kafir anywhere, even in Kentucky Fried Chicken to a public debate. Or, you just kill him. Did someone say public debate? Public, public debate! debate. <laughs> oh, look! It's the Kafir King himself! Maybe it's a jinn! Ooh, ooh, ooh! For, for, for my first wish, I wish that Robert Spencer would drop dead, or that someone would kill him to death. No, it is I, Robert Spencer. And I accept the Sheikh's challenge to a public debate, even in Kentucky Fried Chicken. Although I'd prefer Chick-fil-A. Did I say public debate? On the authority of the Quran and Sunnah, I abrogate that. <laughs> Allah Akbar. Yes, you did indeed say public debate. Don't tell me you're gonna back out or ignore or reject my challenge like Mubin Sheikh, Askar Bukhari, Ayman Ismail, Joseph Lombard, Reza Aslan, Mehdi Hassan, Akbar Ahmed, Shabir Ali, Ahmed Rehab, Kaner K. Dagli, Kasim Rashid, Harris Safar, Syed Sohar Wardi, Jonathan Brown, Ahmed Afzal, Omid Safi, Harun Mogul, Kashif Chowdhury. Aha, ya munafik! I caught you in a lie! You <laughs> forgot to mention Jabal Barwi, ya kafir! Uh, yeah, okay, uh, look, why don't I just get your number? We can set this up. Say what up? The debate you agreed to. The one I abrogated? <laughs> There's no abrogation in a debate. You challenged me, I accept it. So What's what do you want number? from me? I need your number so I can contact you. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I need your phone number. What number? You don't know your own phone number? You mean 8675309? You got that from a song. What song? 8675309. Are you sure? You know it's haram to listen to music in Islam, ya kafir? <laughs> uh, how dare you accuse me of doing something haram? This okay. is grounds to reject, to debate a man who's such a liar. How about you give me your email? Info.aol. Yeah, your AOL address would be fine. I just gave it to you, info.aol. <laughs> okay, do you have like a Facebook account or something like that? Okay, okay. I accept your challenge. You can contact me in my space book. My space book? Yes. My space book. I think that that sounds like you're combining MySpace and Facebook. I don't think that exists. Really? Uh, yeah. All this time I'm using my space book? Then what was I using for all this time? It's not for Allah. But you know what? I will accept your challenge after Ramadan because right now I'm in fasting. You're just making excuses. Okay, what about after Easter? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what. If you ever get the courage to debate Robert Spencer. <laughs> then you'll know where to find me. How will I find an ugly looking kafir like you? All you have to do is say my name and I'll be there. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem, Allahu Akbar. Did you see how that dirty kafir ran from my challenge? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, victory to Allah and His Messenger. He was afraid, which is why he did not accept my challenge, and all of you saw it. Let's give praise to Allah, Takbir. Say my name. Takbir. Uh, who, who was afraid? What do you mean who was afraid? You were here for the entire time you saw. Who are you saying was afraid? Robert Mori. Who? Say my name. I didn't see Robert Mori. Who was afraid? James Spencer. I didn't see James Spencer. Who was afraid? Whoever he was, he was afraid. And we leave it to on his messenger. Time for Salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Hey Salah, hey Salah. Say my name and I'll be there. Sometimes you put confidence in people and then they let you down.
we have the most amazing sheikh in the world teaching us all about Islam. He knows all the information in these books. Every single thing in these books he knows. He probably knows everything in, in every book. And so we're trying... We're trying to understand why he didn't just destroy Robert Spencer when he when he had the opportunity. He could have humiliated the kufar right there in the masjid. It was a it was a perfect opportunity. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I think he's just waiting for the right time. Some kind of strategy. Maybe the right time or like like remember when Muhammad was like real peaceful in the beginning? of his, his ministry, because he didn't have that much power yet. And then later on, when the time was right, he came back and, and then he slaughtered everyone when he had a powerful army and then all of a sudden his recitations were not as peaceful. Maybe there's some kind of waiting strategy we just don't understand that Sheikh is doing with Robert Spencer or something like that, maybe. Maybe. But he, he could have debated him. I mean, he could have, if he could have refuted him in debate. Uh. Know. Maybe, maybe he wanted a bigger audience. Maybe he's read that book, The War of Art. Maybe there's something he knows we don't know, you know? Maybe Allah is just testing us, letting us know that we... Have to rely on him. We have to rely on him, not on any human being, especially yeah. when especially when we're, we're almost at the very end of our Islamic journey. The tests are getting harder now. Yeah. We'll see how we do. Hey everyone, I have to keep this vlog a secret. So whenever me and Giovanni and Dennis, whenever we're around each other, we somehow keep each other focused on mindlessly serving Allah, not questioning anything that Islam teaches, exactly as Surah 4 verse 65 of the Quran commands. Like we're able to work ourselves up into a frenzy where doing whatever Muhammad said just seems right whether it's hiring a prostitute or killing a dog or robbing someone. But ever since yesterday, whenever I'm in my room all by myself, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I start wondering if all of this, all of this stuff, if it, even, if it even comes from God. Now, obviously I can't say anything about this when I'm around Giovanni or Dennis because they'll call me an apostate and then they'll try to kill me. But these shows that we've been watching, um, with that guy, what's his name? Um, Rich, Rich something. Anyways, that, oh, Rich White, I think. Okay. Well, anyways, that Rich White guy started making fun of Muhammad's commands, the very commands that we've been accepting without question. What if this Rich White guy is right about Muhammad's teachings being false? I mean, what if he's right when he says that Muhammad's claims should be mocked? I mean, it really affected me when he said that. If he's right, should we be building these suicide vests? I wonder if any other jihadis have these same doubts.